<laughs> Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I want to talk about the Brave browser. You may recall my video that I talked about how I switched from uh, Chrome, from other browsers that I've tried in the past, to the Brave browser, and I'm happy to report that I'm still happily using the Brave browser. Uh, one of the features that I touted in that video was that you can earn BAT or a basic attention token simply by using the browser and one of the things that we've been waiting on on the release version of the browser is the ability to watch targeted advertising to receive the basic attention token so that you can tip your favorite content providers or do whatever you want with the tokens so as of today on the release version of brave you now are able to view ads and there's a bunch of bunch of different articles on just about every tech website heralding the incoming change that hopefully this browser will bring to how advertising and just how everything works on the internet regarding all this stuff. So you probably have a lot of questions. So one of the first things that you should do if you're not sure what's going on is head over to the Brave Ads FAQ and they have a great, great summary of all the common questions that you can possibly ask. I think the biggest one here is how are these Brave Ads different from ads I see whilst browsing in other browsers? And why would I want to see them? Well, the number one thing, and I think the most important thing is that they are opt-in, number one, so you don't have to watch them at all. And they are private. It says traditional advertisers requires information about you, your behavior, pages, your browsing, and location to be collected by advertisers and other vendors in order for ads to be targeted effectively. In contrast, brave ads are matched to you directly on device, meaning your personal information never leaves your browser. So in other words, you can watch ads without sacrificing your privacy to some server in the sky somewhere. Number two, people that opt into Brave ads receive tokens for viewing ads. These tokens, I'm sorry, the tokens receive account for up to 70% of the revenue share. Bat awarded can be claimed monthly directly into your Brave rewards wallet and then can be tipped to your favorite broadcaster. <clears throat> Somebody youtube.com slash one users opt in to brave ads number three receive tokens as the view ads wait did i read that right users opt in to brave ads receive tokens as the view ads i did read it right that just doesn't sound right to me and use those tokens to reward publishers and content creators users end up with a new way to enjoy a free internet that doesn't require them to surrender their privacy now that's the biggest deal right there is that you're able to watch advertising optionally if you want to earn basic attention token and it doesn't sacrifice your privacy. That's a big deal because, you know, people are like, well, I can just watch ads, you know, in any browser. Uh, you may not get paid for them or you may not get rewarded for them, but you know, that's a, that's the thing. So the next question is, do these ads track or collect my data anyway? Uh, Brave uses anonymous but accountable ad confirmation events to report campaign performance and delivery for advertisers. Additional information about ad confirmation protocol is available on GitHub reporting for brave ads accounts for ad events without tracking people so if you're not technical this is something you have to take their word on uh, and if you are technical they have information about what exactly they're doing on github so you can follow up on that as well the next question is if they're not tracking me how does it know what ads to serve that are relevant to me and again this goes to the to the notion that it does use your information locally so it says, in traditional advertising, when the user navigates a web page, a series of calls are made to an ad server that includes information about you and your server. This and other data is shared with third parties. Uh, but Brave is very different. Instead of having a user's data leak from the device to the cloud, Brave's ad servers sends an ads catalog to all Brave Reward users. That includes a list of all available ads. So the ads are being pushed to us, and based on what we're doing locally, we'll get served the appropriate ad. So everything is on device. That's important. The browser uses local machine learning to determine the best time and opportunity to present an ad and matches an ad from the catalog based on the content and the intent of the user. Ads are matched locally to the most complete and direct data set. Yada, yada, yada. So it's a lot of stuff regarding that. Um, I, it basically, if you, if you look at it from a blimp view, things are done locally so it's not your privacy is not being lost that's the easy way to understand it is that all this advertising all this stuff it's all on device or whether your phone your desktop it's not leaving that computer and if it is then they're straight up lying but for what we've been told for what we can see none of that information is leaking out 
So there's a bunch of other questions here that I'm not going to go through, but you can check them out. I think those are the most important ones uh, on the Brave FAQ site. So again, the Brave browser chat. <laughs> I was going to say chat. <laughs> I'm not streaming. The Brave browser, everyone. Check it out. Go to brave.com. You can use my affiliate link in the chat. Oh my gosh, I'm not streaming. You can use my affiliate link in the description of the video and I'll get credit for it if you use the browser for 30 days. I think that's how it works. Uh, optionally, you can send me some bat simply by clicking the, the BAT icon. And I am a verified publisher on YouTube, on Twitch and on my blog. So if you want, if you want to use your bat on me, it does work because I am a verified publisher. Again, guys, this browser has been the best thing to come along in a long time. This is the first browser I've used outside of Chrome in a long time for this long. Um, I was on Firefox for a long time and then when Chrome came out, I've been on Chrome and I, I've been very happy on Brave. So check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Have a good day.